Hey, what's up, what up, what up, what up, you guys? Uh, here goes Sal with another video. You guys are making me spend money on costumes that I don't need, but I want. Uh, I said it, I, I think I said it in the last video for, uh, what's it called, uh, the Master Chief costume, that I was not going to buy no more costumes that, they're too pricey, too pricey, um, and it's, it's, an, it's, it's an expensive hobby. Uh, you guys see, you guys know, I love collectibles, and sometimes a costume is worth as much, or expensive as much as this uh, Batwing right here. Um, hope you guys like the setup. I changed it up. Uh, I, I mean, remove the camera so you guys can see my collection. But <clears throat> you guys should know from the thumbnail already what do I have right here. And it's a Scream costume, Ghostface, Stab from the movie uh, Scream. Uh, both. So, so Scream. Uh, why Scream and now another uh, characters? And why not a high end costume that? Uh, I'm usually used to buying. Uh, well, one, let me give you guys a little backstory. Um, last time I was Ghostface was back in 96, 97 when the movie came out. Uh, I actually had a, what was it called? Uh, a costume from Scream, from Ghostface, but it was a one, a plastic one. They still said it, but I had it back in 97. I should have kept it. Those things are expensive now. Um, just like some of the masks, I actually had masks face mask throughout the years which <clears throat> I didn't think any of it um, got lost storage used to let my kids play with them I was not really uh, uh, into collecting like that or I didn't know they were gonna become ex so expensive just like any other thing you think this is gonna be a, a fit a toy a regular mask and then they skyrocket but anyways last time I was a uh, ghost face that's back in 96 97 I think that's when the movie came out <coughs> Uh, I, I was not into the whole well I actually was I always loved costumes Halloween figures so but I was a kid I was a kid I, I didn't look into I was not looking into oh is this legit the inter internet back in the days was really limited mind you I'm a 90s kid I was born in the 80s so uh, we had internet I think around that time I would say 97 we had internet uh, but it was 56k modem if you know what's 56k modem you know the pain uh, i was not aware of forums anyways i had that mask with the bloody uh you squeeze the heart had a tube will go through the sleeve it will bleed really cheap um the, that costume was not accurate at all i mean uh you could have bought the regular one with the mask a little more a little bit better but i like that blood thing i was a kid um, but I, I never knew that well during that time I didn't know that Ghostface Ghostface's costume was a metallic sheen to it like a metallic glittery look to it I didn't know the movies back in the days you couldn't really tell unless it was a blu-ray and it was like super high definition uh, or unless you were into forums because even in uh, I believe even in the DVD uh, movies the HD ones uh, the high definition, the, the the better DVDs, you couldn't tell. Even with uh, those type of crazy TVs, I, I couldn't tell. I didn't know. Anyways, <clears throat> they didn't want to dress up. I didn't want to buy another costume, but here it is. The reason why is because, one, I like Ghostface, and I just saw Scream 6, and when I saw Scream 6, I was like, huh, I need a Ghostface costume. I don't need it, I just want it started looking I go I went on YouTube checked and the first one that came out was the scream 25th anniversary costume and yeah I just bought all this mask too I didn't have any of them which yeah I know so uh, I saw and I was like oh shoot this is the closest one you're gonna get to the film without spending $400 now why I say $400 because there's a, a maker that makes them one through six uh, it goes by Scream Ropes, uh, Scream Ropes on Instagram. They sell for about $400, $450. It's not bad. Uh, the quality, the material looks on point. $450 to a lot of people might seem like a lot, uh, 
but when you see the this makers just like the Batman suits what they actually the quality and the time they put in this costumes 450 is not bad compared to my Batman costume my Master Chief ones anyway so came across this beauty alright and it's not 100% accurate so you guys know I'm all about accuracy when it comes to some costumes not all my, all my costumes will be 100% accurate, but I would like to get them as close as possible when it comes to accuracy. This costume right here is probably the closest you're gonna get without spending $400, $300. All right, mind you, this cost $60. The only downside to this costume that I wish they could have charged another $5, another $10 is the mask, and I'll tell you why. Um, uh, I think that the things that hang from the sleeves are tessels whatever it's called uh they're not as long as they supposed to be unless i'm wrong unless that's how it looked and uh that's screen accurate but i think they're supposed to be longer um they're not as thick as the actual material from the costume other than that uh, i think the sleeves are not attached to the gloves right so that's, that's the only downside that's the only downside to the costume other than that the costume for 60 dollars it's a great deal it's an amazing deal um, again I'm not a super fanatic I'm not a huge huge fan the biggest fan of Scream there's other uh, youtubers that have so much uh, an extensive collection for Scream and they will tell you that uh, they will even uh, I seen the re their reviews and they will even tell you that this costume is actually pretty good for the price I paid $50 it was brand new on offer up offer up you'll be amazed at things that you find. I actually sold, if you go back to my videos, my first video, one of my first videos was the Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, rehaul, remake that I did, uh, customized it, repainted it. I sold it, guys. I didn't even sell it for a lot, um, but I sold it. Somebody got lucky and, and got it for a great price. I didn't even overcharge for it. Uh, some makers will charge you $300 just to remake that chainsaw. I sold it for, for cheap, really cheap, just leave it at that. Anyway, close as you're gonna get. <clears throat> Let me show you guys here. Um, so, it says that the model, the mannequin or person in this robe is five, uh, 5'11", 185 pounds, which I'm 5'10", I'm 5'10", I'm 180 pounds, so it fits perfect. The, the suit itself, it has to fit you uh, loose. It cannot be tight. Okay, so it has to be loose. I do believe they make a plus size. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they do. Um, but yeah, it, fit, it, it fits up to six feet tall, 200 pounds. So if you're in between the, those sizes, then this will be perfect. You don't need the plus size. But that's really up to you. If you're a little bit on the heavier side, taller side, then I will go with the plus size. This is the review on the standard one size fits mode. Okay, so let me take it out here. It does come with the gloves. Um, I take it out already. Like I said, it was brand new. I bought it for fifty dollars. I actually got lucky on offer. Up. The material, it's heavy. It's it's not a cheap material, guys. Uh, <coughs> I mean, I mean, there's other costumes that cost fifty, a hundred dollars, and the material sucks. This is actually has a good weight to it. Really great weight to it. Um, the hood I like how the, the hood it's actually pretty big it doesn't need to be but it's just pretty big what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do it today I'm actually gonna put velcro right here on top and I'm gonna put velcro um, to the mask so that it sticks to the hood so when you turn it actually turns with you the hood and the hood doesn't wobble around and it just like covers your face um, what you could do like I said, it does not come with a t the attached uh, gloves, which that was a, a, a like all the all, at least from what I've seen and from what I remember, um, the sleeves are attached to the gloves. Now I'm not gonna do that. Reason why is because this is the main reason I bought this costume, and I went with this costume is because I'm gonna go to a party. I want to be comfortable as comfortable as possible with a Batman suit a master chief suit inside a party i won't be able to i won't be able to sit down i won't be able to it's just gonna be uncomfortable and you're talking about a thousand dollar plus costume versus a fifty dollar 
costume right here. I'd rather wear, wear this one, the Master Chief costume. Is gonna go on on Halloween for the Hollywood Parade. So if you see me over there with the Master Chief, say what's up. If you if you're from the area, um, but yeah, that's the only thing. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it's uh, wear a uh, uncompressed uh, sleeves. I mean compressed sleeves, for the ones you used to work out, or you could just use a long black sleeve. I mean long long sleeve shirt. Uh, the compressed ones are just better, just because it actually sticks to your skin and they don't move. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna need to take out the gloves, especially if I'm DJing, because I'm gonna be DJ, DJing or along with another friend. <clears throat> so I do DJ, guys. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, I used to DJ. I DJ once in a blue moon. Um, I still like it. It's one of my passions, other than having all this nerdy stuff and costumes and such. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, let's see here nobody has called me and then they call me in the at the worst time um the gloves nothing special to it other than being the metallic color and it matches the suit hopefully the camera is picking up the the, the metallic and as you can see the metallic goes up on this side of the tassels whatever it's called i don't know sleeves curtains whatever it's called and it's pretty thin you can see that actually like that's what i was saying uh, the material they use on this, I don't think it's the same as this one because I don't think you can, well actually it is the same thing, sorry, it is the same thing, but it looks super thin, you can see through it, but that's only if you have a whole bunch of light, you're going to use it at night, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, other than that, uh, gloves, pretty standard, nothing crazy, but they do, the, the whole suit shines guys, and like I said, I'm 5'10". And as you can see, it actually, uh, I'm not sure if you, the camera's picking it up, but it, it, it's actually draping all the way down. So I'm gonna wear boots. I'm not gonna wear the accurate ones, but I'm just gonna wear some black working boots. Um, that's what I have. I don't wanna spend no more money than what I need to. <clears throat> the, what is it? Oh, I did buy the knife, guys. I don't even have it here, but I bought the knife. Uh, and then this is the 25th anniversary again. I don't know. No, actually not the 25th anniversary. It's just a standard uh, ghost face cream. Came out last year. I bought it. It still has a price for $20. There's a 20% discount, which uh, brought it down to about $16, $17, which it wasn't bad. A lot of people are selling these for like $40, which is ridiculous. It's just a piece of plastic. Uh, I was thinking of buying another one to keep this one in the package like that, but maybe not, or maybe if I leave it, usually when you're partying, you leave those accessories. I bought another one off, off Amazon, which is like a foam material. Uh, I like that, that one a little bit better just because it has that more of a stainless look. This one is all chromed out, and I'm not gonna put no blood. I'm not gonna uh, customize this one. Reason why is because uh, Ghostface is always cleaning the, the Bowie knife. Every time he kills somebody, he just cleans it. He always keeps it clean. So that's the uh, that's the boy knife. Um, this usually goes for about twelve, fifteen dollars if you get it at retail. <clears throat> Another reason why I like Ghostface guys is the fact that he's not a he reinvented well the maker uh, Wes Craven reinvented the slasher uh, films with this movie. There's other movies, let me turn this off guys. There's other movies that uh, came out after, like I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, which is like, uh, I like that movie too. There's always a twist of the movies. But the only downside to that, it doesn't have an iconic slasher killer. <clears throat> it's just more of a, actually it's just similar to this suit. Dark, like a guy in a, on a black robe with a hook. What made uh, Ghostface different was the mask. The mask was the the one that set it apart. And what's cool about Ghostface is that he's not your typical killer that comes out in uh, other movies like Michael Myers, uh, Jason, um, Hellraiser, where you're <clears throat> the character in the movie. It's ru like he's running, she's running, and, and this guy is like walking, like literally counting his steps next thing you know the girl turns around and this guy's behind her or in front of her 
or shows up where she it's hiding, which is ridiculous to me. Uh, that was not something I always thought about, like in the movies, and everybody notices that Michael Myers walks really slow, really slow, looks at you from like two blocks away, you're like a mile away from him, and he shows up where you're at. Um, I don't know how he does it, but uh, Ghostface is always running behind you. You run, he's running after you. He's not uh, walking behind you. He's running, which is it's funny. Uh, it's in scary movie they show too, and he like in front of a uh, what, what is it a uh, Sydney, but in scary movie, and she turns around and then they they put like he runs behind the tree. Uh, they actually show you how killers disappear. <laughs> it's funny. Anyways, uh, that's the reason why I like Ghostface. Pretty cool. <clears throat> One of the things I didn't like about this costume um, that it came with this mask. So this mask, uh, it comes with a plastic. I think it was with another mask, so I just put it in there. It's just a piece of plastic to keep it in shape. Also, if you ever buy uh, latex masks, guys, and they are crushed or they're like deformed, just get a, what's it called? Um, a hair dryer. Leave it for like 30 seconds, not too close, not too far. Let it heat up and then hold it until it actually, re uh, until it actually reshapes. This thing is ripping or something. Hmm. Anyways, this is what I don't like about this mask. There's no hood for it. It's just a plain mask. It just has this piece in the front. Like I said, they should have charged another five, ten dollars. They should have given us a regular mask. There's no point. There's no reason why they shouldn't. Uh, I know this one has a hoodie, but it just it shows your neck. All right, that's just me. What I'm gonna do to the other masks, well, especially the ones I'm going to use, or the H one, I'm going to put a mesh, a thicker mesh in the back of the eyes because you can still see through this. And the night, it won't be as noticeable, but it's still there, especially if the light shines uh, your face. Um, you're going to be able to see your eyes, and that's something I don't like. Um, but look, this is what I was talking about, guys. And like, let me just, I don't know if I'm... So this is the uh, ghost face. I need to put that Velcro so it could just stay st stuck to it. But if you turn around, no matter how hard you try, unless you wear, unless you wear a, a turtleneck or a ski mask, uh, one of those, um, uh, what is it? Yeah, the ones I use for, I think it's a ski mask. And this thing just keeps coming out. You're gonna see your neck. And it takes away from the effect. That's the only reason I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like about this console. <clears throat> Other than that, I mean, for the price you're paying, it's pretty good. But $10 more, give us another mask. Now, at first, I was like, I should just buy the 25th anniversary, which I did, but I bought it after. Uh, I was like, the 25th anniversary looks like the best one. Now, why am I not going to use this with this costume? Is because it has this hanging. So this is more of a, I feel like this is more of a display mask. And I believe there there are different type of uh, there's different types of uh, 25th anniversary with the hoodie metallic uh, fabric on um, that they sell. This one says it has a vanilla scent, which is funny to me. A vanilla scent. I guess it smells like vanilla. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this is probably the greatest, the, the best mask you could buy as far as like putting it in display. Um, it comes with the hoodie, the metallic uh, fabric. <coughs> Now, my first choice was just this one. I mean, my second choice. I said, oh, you know what? That one looks cool. Uh, I think it's going, it's going for like 30 something dollars. I got it for $32. Some people are pay selling them for ridiculous prices for like $100. Don't pay that. Offer up, offer up, offer up. Uh, so this one is cool. Again, if I'm aware of this one, I need to put the, the mesh behind the eyes so it will look black and you will not see my face also one of the things that Ghostface never has is this tessel hanging uh, from a mask so you could tie it around your head or just remove them whatever you like but this one looks pretty cool um, if you want to go with the closest to the original look it has a, a elastic strap and like I said you could literally let me see this thing you could just tie up this tessel uh, to the back of your head uh, put Velcro or something 
But this looks better than the the, the mask that came with the, the suit. Just because it has that hood and you cannot see your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, and yeah, again, just put Velcro right here, so that when you turn around, the mask stays in place with the hood, and the, the hood doesn't start going over your face and covering it. Um, that's another trick, another tip that I saw. Uh, just put Velcro. There you go. You're ready to go, and you will become ghost face. The closest you're gonna get to ghost face without spending an arm and a leg. Um, which one am I gonna wear? I'm aware of the H uh, mask. Uh, this one, they're all from the same uh, Fun World, makes all these masks. Uh, this one is a little bit thicker than those. The, the latex is thicker. I don't know if it's latex. It could be urethane, uh, but it feels thicker. And a lot of people will modify this one. Um, there's, I mean, there's a, uh, what's it called? Let me lower down the brightness here. So you guys can see it better. Um, I don't think you need to do anything to it. I think it's perfect the way it is, but that's just me. Uh, again, unless you're really into the whole, it has to be accurate thing, then I mean, you could uh, do a rehaul, repaint. Um, it does come with foam. This one has foam inside. So I don't know if all of them, uh, the other ones didn't. And this one is black from the inside too. So it's black and it comes with a piece of foam in here and the elastic strap um, but again I'm, I'm gonna put a uh, thicker mesh and this is yeah june 2023 it was made i'm gonna keep all this mask because apparently they do go up in price um 2023 so it was made this year um uh, yeah i'm gonna use this mask i just like the way it looks i like the way it looked in scream six great movie i liked it a lot of people might not agree but i liked it uh, but yeah, this is the mask I'm wear. And actually, the foam in the front actually helps you, um, it's not too stuck to your face, which is pretty good, uh, cool. The other one is actually tied it to your face, so it gives you a little bit better, um, uh, breathe, uh, it's actually a little bit more breathable, because the, the mouth is not right against the, the neck. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, so yeah, same thing, tuck it in, and there you go guys, this is, this is Ghostface, I don't even know if I'm doing it correct, this is the Ghostface 25th anniversary costume with the aged, um, with the aged, shoot dude, I don't even know if this is, it has a piece of foam, the, the costume inside. So I'm trying just trying to fix it. But yeah guys, this is the 25th anniversary uh, Ghostface metallic um, metallic costume. Closest you're gonna get. Um, where's the knife? This is what I'm saying, see? Uh, if you're at a party and you start moving, this thing is gonna go all over the place. So you need to velcro this to the top. So that it will stay in place. It moves for everything. It's kind of annoying that you know, it keeps moving. Um, if you see, uh, let me just go around the, uh, the kitchen just so I can show you guys uh, how, how cool this looks. <laughs> it's so cool. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, it kind of moves. I need to put Velcro ASAP. Because then I'm going to forget it. I'm going to be doing it at the last minute. Hope you guys like this video, guys. This is the 25th anniversary Ghostface uh, costume by Fun World. Great costume. Again, not 100% accurate, but this is the closest you're going to get. Um, don't ask me questions where I bought it. I already said it. Uh, I got it on OfferUp. 
do your own research. Um, yeah, um, if you guys have questions that I could help you with that I didn't say in the video, I'm, I'll gladly uh, uh, answer them like you guys know. But yeah guys, another costume that I didn't need. I didn't need, but I want it. And maybe in the future, maybe next year, I'll get the, the one from Screen Bros. Uh, like I said, it's actually an affordable costume. Maybe I'll get it uh, ahead of time. So it takes a while, no matter if it's just a piece of fabric sewn together. That guy has a lot of orders all the time from what I've seen. So in my opinion, which mask you should go for, uh, you should go, uh, go for. It's your decision, whatever you like the most. Me, I, I like the original, but I like this aged uh, mask the best just because he's been through, he's been having this mask since 96, so it's a long time. Um, I think that's, I mean, unless you want the original one, go with the original one. Still a great mask, that's the, the original one, and the iconic one um, and this one I think this is the best one for display especially if you're gonna put it in a head form I'm gonna remove the tags uh, I'll save the tags just because it's cool but other than that uh, you guys know I like to just take everything out of the packages so yeah guys hope you guys like this video please like and subscribe I'll be making a video uh, hopefully for Halloween I know it's so late but um, regarding my kids costume um my kids costume my kid my kids costume is an anime one i don't know if you guys are familiar with it but i'll post a video um please guys like guys like and subscribe uh i really appreciate it uh especially all the people that always return and tune in if you're watching the whole video i truly appreciate it even more um don't ask questions <laughs> don't ask questions uh if i said in the video I won't answer them on the comments and I actually answer all the comments. All right, guys, we hit a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm not getting paid still, I'm just doing it for fun. Uh, but yeah, also, guys, if you guys like to see more videos, not just about costumes, let me know what you guys are interested in. Like, I buy figures left and right. Uh, and I don't, I don't do the reviews just because I feel like a lot of people probably won't be interested. But let me know if you guys like the, the videos for my uh, figures reviews. I have so many figures that it's ridiculous. Uh, also, check out the other videos that I just posted um, regarding Halo and uh, something that's in the box right there. Uh, 